So last up here, I wanted to throw this in here as like being kind of our uh, tangent topic, you know, where we can <laughs> kind of jump off a little bit. And I thought this would be a good time to address it, you know, because there's been a lot of things that's happened within the gaming space over the past year. And I think that the end of 2023, beginning of 2024 is going to open a greater dialogue for this overall. So TSM Imperial Hal, who is an Apex player, posted over on Twitter, I've played eight hours of mouse and keyboard today after a, hiatus, after a hiatus of probably around two years, and it's safe to say I'd never permanently swap back unless they nerfed aim assist hard. I can also confidently say I would have quit this game a long time ago if I never swapped to controller. I have so much respect for all mouse and keyboard players that still play the game regularly and comp or in general because I wouldn't be able to. This is also not a jab towards Apex, but more so the gaming industry and forcing such an unbalanced comp scene. No one would actually fully understand it without being able to play both at a high level. It's literally night and day gameplay. At the end of the day, who knows if there, there's a true way to balance the two. I personally think there isn't. Just play controller if you ever had a choice between them. Obviously, depending on the game, you don't want to play controller on CSGO, etc. This post got 1.5 million views, and yeah. there's a lot of people in this comment section that are going back and forth, and you see a clear, you know, distinction. Well, they're here. gamers. There's gamers in there. Yeah, and the common consensus normally comes down to mouse and keyboard players agreeing with what Imperial Hal posted on Twitter, and then you have the other side of it that's like. Well, if we didn't have such strong aim assist, then we wouldn't be able to compete with mouse and keyboard players at all. And I think the big takeaway that I want to take, you know, take from this and kind of like the jumping off point from this is this tweet, this other tweet, at the end of the day, who knows if there's a true way to balance the two? I personally yeah. think there isn't. That's now, it. there's two of us from foreplay that play mouse and keyboard. There's two of us from foreplay that play controller. And I'm opening this up to anybody. Is there a legitimate, good, legitimate way to balance the two out? Because Halo tried to do this when they released Halo Infinite. Their solution to fixing it was to give mouse and keyboard players aim assist. No. And I don't think that that's the right answer to it at all. There's Not a bit of a trade-off, all. man. You get on mouse and keyboard, you get better movement. You do. It's mm -hmm. mentioned somewhere in those comments where they're like, the movement is something, you know, you straight turn on somebody and be right on them. But I mean, really, mm -hmm. you're the only person that's played mouse and keyboard, Griffin, and controller. So yeah. I haven't. I don't think the other two have. What 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 would you I do? I have played mouse and keyboard on other games, yeah. What, what okay, what would I do? Okay. Cuz I can't I, I can't use a controller cuz I'm just trash with but, it. See, I I think that a mild I mean like not strong but like a mild aim assist makes sense for controller because sure. With mouse and keyboard, you just you have way more precision. I can point right to if, it. If you know if you know what you're doing, if you've played it before and you know how to move your mouse right, you can keep shots pretty pretty good. I mean, like I played other wrist. games, yeah, that were like that, and you. That's why Rainbow Six never went crossplay because you can't balance that Damn. properly. There's no way. Yeah. Mouse and keyboard players would have a clear advantage over them, but if they added aim assist, then that would change the way the game went, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. So, and I, I don't know, man. It, a mild aim assist makes sense. I don't think there's a way to truly balance it, but that's all no, skill, man. too. There's a lot because of trade offs. Have, there's a lot of skill yeah. issues, too, because a lot of these people that are bitching about it might just be bad. Mm hmm. I mean, if you're good at mouse and keyboard, we've seen Griffin. Griffin's mouse and keyboard. He slays damn near every game we fucking play. And it goes the other way, too. Garbo's good in almost every game we play. Yeah. Like, it's just a skill issue, I think, more than anything else. Well, I think the idea of aim assist is very dated, right? Because 
the idea of how aim assist works in 2023 is night and day compared to how it worked in 2008 because yeah because now they are the developers are looking at statistical data and the only data that they're looking at is hit percentages of mouse and keyboard players versus hit percentages of controller players right and because the if those don't equal out to generally around the same percentages then their response and their way of tackling that is to increase the aim assist so that it balances that out you know and this goes for all games across all all shooter genres they're you looking seen the clip where the dude's playing cod and he's just like looking down where the guy's at and this gun starts to yeah starts to follow, follow him around the guy. It's yeah like he even look at the guy it just starts to yeah pull yeah i don't like that like when i'm playing games that have higher aim assist when I'm aiming at a dude and his buddy runs across and it pulls me to yeah. him, what fuck's I don't want up? that. You don't we want need that. to figure out a way to to do aim assist when it's like, I don't know. Well, I don't know you how you want to aim do at that. the motherfucker. Like not yeah. the games. Like hey, go here and it's like no. Yeah, I don't. I'm want trying to, to decide fucking... for me. Yeah. No, I agree. And like with them just cranking it up. It, it so so the way that aim assist at least from my understanding of how it works is like whenever you are looking at someone depending on how big their hitbox is and the perspective that you're looking at them is going to determine the type of aim assist that you have the reason why the cod meta for the past six months or so has been smoke grenades is because smoke grenades is one of the only things inside of cod that effectively breaks aim assist while you're playing. So that's why whenever you watch Z or Aiden or any of these oh, they big, all do it. they throw the, they throw a smoke grenade down and they don't use it to mask movement. They don't use it. All they use it for specifically is to break aim assist. That's a problem, right? And it's all relative off how big the player's hitbox that you're aiming at. So if you have someone that's five feet in front of you, you're going to have a much larger hitbox that is going to affect that as opposed to someone that is 200 meters away from you. You know what I mean? There's no dynamic aim assist that exists, at least not in any, any games that I've found, where, where it's all relative based off of the type of weapon in that game that you're using and how that weapon controls based off of those aim assist values. If you're playing with something with an SMG, should you have aim assist at 30 meters? If you're playing with a DMR, should you have aim assist at 10 meters? Like, to me, the easiest way to balance aim assist out is to give different weapon types and different attachments different aim assist values now of course whenever you start doing that there's going to be meta builds that are going to guarantee you the best aim assist that you can get but at least that's getting it more in line with like how it actually should be in my opinion because i do think that contrary to popular belief I do think that aim assist or some type of a slowdown mechanic needs to exist for controller be players. There. Yeah. Because especially players that, which this is all, you know, voluntary, but players that play at a very high sensitivity back in the day, you could cut that off and you like it, you would have no zero aim assist whatsoever. I think now is the, the, the right time for, for developers to actually develop the new and improved aim assist and not have to. You know what else fucked it? What? Crossplay? One thing. <laughs> no. Skill based matchmaking. Oh, yeah. That's absolutely correct. That yeah. is because that dude's like, he's on a certain skill level. Yeah. Well, he hops mm -hmm. in, he's got demons. Why can't it just be everyone? Yeah. Why, do we, why can't we just load everybody in here? When I walk out my door with a gun, everybody in there is not the best. I mean, yeah. why do we have to do that? Yeah, exactly. Why does everybody need that? It's like, no, we got to give the new people a chance. It's like, well, we didn't get a chance when we first started playing these games. Yeah, You yeah. get good. You just got to get better. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a big problem. 
Yeah. And I think that's where it's coming in, where that's something that needs to change. That needs to go away. You know, the only game that, that we've played in the past, like, three years that I think has the aim assist thing figured out? The finals? Fortnite. Mm. Oh. Or not solid. Because, and the reason why is because the way that the weapons perform in Fortnite have such a huge bloom and oh, such yeah. an aggressive recoil that it don't matter if you're playing on mouse and keyboard or if you're playing on controller. If you don't My crouch... All over the place. Yeah, if you don't I crouch... Take your time with your shots. Pace your shots out. You're not going to hit anything regardless of if you're on their body or not. And like the finals, they did the the, the last beta. You could just people, tell it was different. Yeah, pe yeah people were... It wasn't like analysis yeah. from other games. Well, when they re-released or when they released the new version of the finals... They crunk the aim assist up to the point oh. where now it's the same argument in the finals. Because these people are actively able to track people that are bounce padding and sliding and all like you. I've watched a lot of controller players play the finals and it's like watching somebody play COD. And I'm not saying that that's not skill because there's definitely skill involved in that. But I'm just saying that, like, cranking it up all the way isn't the answer. You know what I mean? And, like, there, there, something has got to give in the gaming sphere. And the matchmaking. Yeah. Uh, the match if you're not going to change the rest of it, change that. Yeah. The matchmaking absolutely has a lot to deal with. Why has it got to be demons every night? Like Yeah. And on top of this, a lot of people are saying, well, here's the thing. Like... Whenever you release a game, if you're releasing a game that is specifically designed around controller players, then force everybody to use controller. Like CSGO is mouse and keyboard. You can, con you can configure controller settings inside of Steam and play that game with a controller. But you're not going to get those same, you know, you're not going to have aim assist and all those benefits that come with having a game that is solely dedicated to a controller input. You know what I'm saying? So like that that's one that's one person's, you know, interpretation of how to fix it. Just force everybody to play on the same input method. And that way you can balance around that. They don't want to do that though, because then you know, these games come out with no crossplay. And they fail. Yeah. Yeah. The money's more important than... Yeah. What do you think, Garbo? How would you fix it? Or do you have any idea of how to fix it? <laughs> We're spitballing, so, you know. I mean, I wouldn't know the direction of fixing it. I just know that, like, keyboard and mouse... It's just the fact that they have so much arm movement... I'm not going to say that that's their advantage, but because of that, in movement in the game itself, they could just do crazy things. I mean, Break being able angles. to want, yeah, being able to 180 immediately on the flick of the mouse is strong. Like especially if they're like somebody's behind them, shooting them in the back, and they just whoosh, immediately turn around, just headshot oh, yeah. you. Just it looks like they're cheating, even though they may not be cheating. They just 180 and just got the fuck out of you. But you know, again. Mm -hmm. We have the advantage of the, you know, <clears throat> of the aim assist, but like we again, we only have a thumb. You know what I mean? Like a lot of players that play, like I don't play like Claw or Spider or any of those mm. like little crazy like ways to play I didn't the game. Know like Spider was one. <laughs> I know. I didn't. Yeah, yeah that's I a know new claw, one. But yeah, the spider I've never is seen uh, see spider. That sounds wild. <laughs> spider is just having your I feel like uh, have index a face and <laughs> your uh, your. <laughs> no, <laughs> but spider is your index fingers on the top two, the L one and the R one, and then your bot and then your bird fingers on the R two and the L two on the bottoms. So like your fit, you have fingers on yeah. pretty much all those buttons. That's called a spider. I can't play like that. I play everything with my index and my thumbs, and I don't. I'm not gonna say that because <laughs> I agree with Corey. I don't feel like. That or you, where it needs to have the aim assist full blast because when you're literally not touching the joystick 
and a character it runs pulls. by you and your character pulls automatically, that's too strong. Yeah, like, I've had that, that it is five solid feet away from where yeah. you yeah. look at that. I'm in the middle of something. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is crazy. There's really no true way to fix that because, again, even what we're all saying, skill issue. Like, maybe you're just not that great of the game, or maybe that player you're playing against is just a naturally better player. Yeah, the only just no, to, I say the matchmaking. No matter what, yeah, there's going to be mouse and keyboard players that are better than every controller player they've ever played against, and vice versa. Yeah. Yes. Well, I think comparing these things just specifically to data is incorrect. And this is a conversation that oh, I yeah. try. I've tried to have this conversation with developers that I've spoken with in the past where let's say that you have a control group of a hundred people. Let's say 110 people. Let's say 10 people are playing mouse and keyboard and they are playing at a mid level. And then you have a hundred players that are playing across all skill ranges. It's going to average itself out. Those yeah. 10 people are going to dictate the performance of one input method that doesn't accurate re accurately reflect how it feels and it is experienced in game. And that's a problem because you're basically saying that you want every controller player to perform at the same level. And that's unrealistic. Just it like is. you want every mouse and keyboard player to perform at the same level oh. is unrealistic. Keyboards are different. You, you shouldn't expect somebody that doesn't know how to play the game to be able to beam somebody down because they have perfect aim assist. Yeah. And the only thing they had to do was press the trigger button. Like that that should never be a thing. Like that's that's beyond like an expectation or even a a thing that shouldn't be. You know yes. what I mean? Like you have to put some form of effort into something that you're doing. But I mean, to be fair, that's like a big thing this in the world today. It's just people wanting to put effort into things. Like they just don't. They just want shit spoon fed or handed to them. Right. And this goes back into like some of the earlier conversations. As a studio, as a developer, if you have an unsatisfied customer because they're not performing at, at, a, at a specific level, at a level that they think that they should be performing at, then the best interest for that company is to give the player the tools in the game needed to be able to perform at those levels. So from a monetary standpoint, up in the aim assist so that people that aren't good at the game whatsoever can still perform because of this assistance that they have is going to encourage them to buy more cosmetics That's and COD. more skins. Yes. Call of Duty. Yeah. And controller heavy, man. And and that's where it it's is. like that's where we get into it's console heavy too. Yeah. yeah. To that's why. Fair. That's why. Yeah. yeah. So that's no shade. What, I'm not throwing shade. I'm just like that's Call of Duty. No, They're yeah, like, you're throwing the statistics. He's a fucking controller. Yeah, but well, that's where that's COD where, also has that magnet pull that I was telling you that you don't even have to have your thumb on the joystick. Yeah, yeah, COD has I, one of I the strongest aim assist. Every time that I get on a new COD, I turn the aim assist off. I cannot stand their aim assist. So th that's where we get into like this idea of the participation trophies, right? Because if people yeah. are enjoying Nobody's themselves, yeah, then mm -hmm. they're going to be more encouraged to come back to the game, to continue playing the game, and to buy stuff within that yep. game. Because they like him, the Tap Man. Yeah, exactly. They watched him play. They hop on there. They yeah. did their thing. You know. Well, that's the thing is that especially with like our and the generation below ours. We got a lot of those participation trophies and uh, nobody it's, it's hard to have a compet, a truly competitive game be very, very popular because people who aren't good at it just won't play it. Uh, yeah. They don't know. They don't mm -hmm. fuck off. Yeah. So this is a patent, right? And I used to have this article saved and I don't have it saved anymore, but Activision actually put in a patent for a new, a new way of doing not only aim assist, but skill-based matchmaking. 
And this is kind of the general way that this works. If a player is engaging with another player, right, and their skill levels aren't equal, oh. then the player that is on a higher skill level will not get hit registrations on the player that is a lower skill level in an effort to try to balance that match out. I don't like that at all. That sounds like that ricochet shit, remember? Yes. If they thought you were too good or cheating, possibly, you wouldn't hit your shots. Yes. You'd shoot the fuck out of them, but it's like, that was happening to, like, comp players, gamers, were like, how come I'm not doing damage? Yeah. Well, it thinks you're cheating. Yeah. You're too good. Yeah. So, if that's if that's a patent that they're submitting, and this is the, the idea, the logic, the, the thought process that's going into, like, how they are wanting to, like, further you know, their, their games and their aim assist and their matchmaking and all this stuff. Like anybody that exceeds a certain level that is just, I'm not even going to say good. I'm just going to say above average are going to suffer because of yeah. the mass majority of people that are underperforming. And then they're going to get killed and they're going to spectate that person and be like, what the fuck, man? Yeah. This right. dude killed me. Yeah. So, like I said, is there a way to fix it? Is there a way to balance it? There is. I don't have the answer for it. But what they're doing just isn't really working. Working, yep. If they would just remove the skill-based magic yeah, for like six months. Yeah. Just see how that goes, just, yeah. Let's try it on. Yeah. Go back to the way it used to be. Right. Yeah. And see, back in the day, like whenever we were playing COD 4, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, Black Ops 2, like we had to grind those games oh, out. Getting shit on. Yeah. To, yeah. To get to the point of where we were like performing how we wanted to perform. We'll make you better. Yeah. And see, the streamers don't necessarily help this and i think imperial how kind of contributes to this if i watch you know z play cod oh. all day long i want to play like that guy yeah you get I wanna, on there yeah, you yeah. Do. <laughs> where we dropping yeah i want to play like that guy and this is someone that plays the game 14 hours a day seven days a week you know You're six days like that guy. You're not going to, yeah, it's an unrealistic but expectation. If they push the, you know, yeah, control thing a little harder and you got the skill based matchmaking, yeah, might do all right. You ain't going to play like Z, right? You're not going to play like Doc, yeah, you're not going to, you know, yeah. But I think that there, there, there is a happy medium to be found. Um, um, and it's crazy whenever you see someone that performs at this level that's coming out and it's like, I played eight hours of mouse and key today. And yeah. if I stuck with mouse and keyboard, I would not play this game. You know, it's only because I swapped to controller is the reason why I maintained playing this game. That, that kind of says a lot about it, you know? Reminds me of Huskers. Yeah. When he was doing COD, when the new COD came out, he was like, it's, I can't. Yeah. I mean, I'm just... I'm suffering over here. Right. He's a great player. Yeah. And what what's crazy is like a lot of these people that enjoy playing like, you know, Warzone and Apex and all this kind of stuff, like they're not they're not Tim. They're not Doc. They're not built up to a level to where they could successfully transition full time over to a different game that's a little bit oh, more have to keep playing it, dude. Yeah, um, and we That's saw true. that with a lot of people that got big during the pandemic when they were streaming yeah. Warzone, and they're Fuck. stuck. Yeah, and you know, if you're stuck in something and you don't enjoy it, like then what's the point? You know what I'm saying? You can see that on a lot of streamers too, man. When yeah. they're playing the game and they just do not like playing that game. Yeah, and yeah, it makes man. it. Uh, which I know some people don't seem to care because they just want to see the game they want to see, but I. I'm there to watch the streamer. I don't really care what they're playing. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see them not having fun, a good time. have a good time, man. You're not Nothing's watch better it. than Doc and Tim and them having a good fucking time, dude. Yeah. They could be playing Fall Guys. Legitimately, yeah. they could be playing 
they could be doing like Sudoku's and having yeah. a good time, and it's fun to watch. <laughs> exactly right. A little Wordle. Yeah. So hopefully, like you know, along with the rest of like the gaming industry and kind of getting out of this weird funk that we've been in, hopefully. With with crossplay existing, with it having you know to be implemented into a game for it to be successful, or at least have controller support introduced into it to be successful, hopefully, like this will come with the the renaissance here, if you will, and someone will find the way. Like I said, Fortnite, in my opinion, has like done an amazing thing with how their guns. Oh, yeah, whenever I die. Unless oh, it's I'm with the cheated. unless it's with the pump, right? <laughs> um, I don't feel like I'm being cheated. You know what I'm saying? One tap and doing 180 damage. Like that things were, that's game balance stuff. That's pretty hair yeah. decisions. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, dodge it. Yeah, dodge it. Yeah. Um, but I think that they have a good idea. And then whenever you play COD, like if you go back from my experience, right? You go back and you play Warzone when it first drops, right? First weekend on the recoil and weapon control then versus now. Whoa. Yeah. Because like, that's another thing that they have, they've tweaked. Let's make the guns harder to control. Let's make the recoil on these weapons more aggressive, right? We're going to crank the aim assist up, right? To, yeah. to, to do that. But in turn, we're going to also crank that way that, People that are playing on controller still have to because if we crank the aim assist up, then recoil doesn't exist if the if the recoil of the weapons are on the lower if they trend lower. So in order to combat that, they're having to crank that up. Well, that's only hurting a subset of your community when you do that to the fullest, right? Because like I'm having to I don't even have enough tap mouse it. I don't have enough mouse pad to control a Call of Duty weapon. You just have to tap it. Yeah. You can't but open back, it up. Remember the yeah. kilo back in the day? Oh, oh yeah. You know, perfect. Yeah, like, there on. was there was recoil there. It was predictable. It was easily controllable. You pulled it down. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't overbearing. It was like back and to the left. It was oh, yeah, no. yeah. But now, if I try to shoot an assault rifle in it's Warzone Three, like I'm having to literally pull it into the other room behind look me. Down. Yes. Like, yeah. Wild. So uh, it's like we're making and this. It just doesn't. It doesn't feel good to a subset of your of your players. But if it's making the mass majority happy, then the developers doesn't see it as a negative. Make money. Yeah. Exactly. Right. So hopefully that there will be a fix for this in the future. I would love to see like some common ground here. And I well, think that skill based matchmaking has got to go, but yeah. it's not. Well, and it's which is, happen. which is wild to me, right? Here's the thing, man. We're, we're all, we all have day jobs, right? We, we all, we all do our thing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? What makes the developers think that I want to, Come home after working my day job and dealing with bullshit for twelve hours. Oh, and sweat well, in a freaking if you lobby. You get a win, you're not as shot. Yeah, might, as, might as, well as well shut it off. off. Yeah, shut it down. You know, really? <laughs> and it might be the first game you get the win. It's like, all right, well, let's just leave because uh, call yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. not gonna happen not. again. It's about to get real bad. Yeah. yeah, that's what happens. Yeah, exactly. So. I, I don't want to sweat that much when I stream and I feel that with all the streamers. And I do think that skill based bat matchmaking does need to exist in some form or fashion. Sure. Right. But we've seen the complete opposite dirt. I played a game earlier a 4v4 on rooftop skirmish TDM, right? Yeah. I dropped. You have to get 60, 65 downs to win the game, right? I dropped 43 downs, 6,500 damage, and still lost. Damn. And the highest level... the dudes you're playing with were just like, the, yeah. what? The highest, the highest level on my team, other than me, was 18. <laughs> Dude, at one point, 
I had 21 downs. We had 21 points on the board, and a couple of the guys on the team had downs. That means they jumped off of the map to take yeah. away from the overall score. You know I'm what I'm saying? I'm going to go back in the stream just to hear you rage on that. Like That was the like, first what game. What are y'all doing, guys? That was the first game I Don't played. we stop feeding? Yeah. So there, there needs to be a happy medium with the skill-based matchmaking. Because in Rogue, you like there's some I there's a Halo there's two there's Halo two skill based matchmaking in there, but yeah, I don't want to fuck yeah I don't want to sweat my ass off because we've got a bunch of no levels on our team that don't know what yeah. they're doing against a put four a bunch stack of nobodies with you yes good luck yeah I also don't want to sweat my ass off whenever I've got a team of absolute demons going against a team of absolute demons. That's why ranked exists. Yeah. That's why ranked is there. It's it's insane, dude. It, it's legitimately insane. I really hope that they find some type of medium ground dude, with all Rogue this. Rogue Company has the sweatiest pubs mm -hmm. in the world. Yeah, absolutely. If you go to Quick Play... <laughs> Forget about it. Because mm -hmm. all those people that got the what you the know, deserter what you penalties, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. they're in quick play. Fucking yeah. Why is that even a thing? They're like, you can still play quick play. That's a TJ decision. Want to play battle zone? Yeah. Uh, no. no. Get that out. I was about to say that. Please just take it out. Yeah, just get rid of it. Just take it out. So, any final thoughts before we wrap it up? Go base smash makers got to go. <laughs> I mean, I'll die on that hill. And I don't even have the skill. But I'm like, that shit's got to go. Who wants to like, sweat that hard? There's people just out put there. Put people into a match. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why do we have to do numbers and be like, well, this person's this? And then the game crashes. Yeah. Because it was trying to find people that, you know. Yeah. You're always going to run up against a stack. There's people that are playing together. You can, the skill based match like it doesn't work there. Yep. So, but this has been episode number five of the Four Play Gaming Podcast. If you want to hit us up, you can send us a tweet over at Four Play Pods, or you can shoot us an email fourplaypods at gmail dot com. Also, there is a area in the Discord. Link will be in the description down below, of course. Uh, if you want to contribute directly to the show, you can drop a line in there under the foreplay hookup. It's not for hooking up with other people. It's for hooking us yeah. up. But for this <laughs> episode... Yeah, right. But for this episode, I'm here with Co Reed. I'm here with Dirt Lord. I'm Knuckle Deep with Garbo. <laughs> and I'm whispering in Griffin's ear. <laughs> And I feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we will catch you guys on the next episode. Keep gaming, guys. <laughs>